we are the only major party committee to cut off a candidate for their behavior. Uh, a candidate in New Jersey, Seth Grossman, who said bigoted things, we cut mm -hmm. him off. We're the only major committee to show that kind of leadership. Uh, the Democrat Congressional Campaign Committee continues to support Leslie Coburn and Scott Wallace, who have said bigoted and anti-Semitic things. And I, I think we need to, we all bear some responsibility, and we need to try to clean up our act and try to bring more civility to the to our Congress and, frankly, to our dialogue. Before I let Congressman uh, Luan respond to, to, to those charges that you threw out there, let me ask you about the president. Uh, what role should he be playing here, and has he played the proper role yet? Well, um, you know, I sometimes disagree with the way the president uh, treats people. I thought uh, after the pipe bombs, he initially set uh, the right tone of unity and coming together. Uh, and I, uh, I hope that he will continue you said initially, on that path. That sounds like you didn't think he continued. I, I said I hope he'll continue on that path. Fair enough. Congressman Luan, you heard Congressman Stivers there. He says that you have not, you have continued to back people that he says uh, have trafficked, trafficked in uh, hate speech. What say you? Well, Chuck, first off, that, that's simply not true. But look, with the, the concerns that that um, woman had in, in Pittsburgh, look, another senseless act of hate has stricken yet another community and a place of worship in the United States of America. And the Congress has a responsibility to act to keep people safe. And it's not too much to expect leaders to bring us together, to unite our country, uh, to find a way to uh, reach out to us, uh, to our greater good, and make sure that we rise uh, above all of the accusations and the hate and the finger pointing, Chuck. So I am certainly hopeful that we'll see that out of uh, the leader of the free world and that we'll see that out of each and every one of us individually as well as our colleagues.